got it out of bounds on the far south at the pit 23 yard line to go. Cheerleaders and a mascot with a musket in reaction in the stand. The fast paced marching band to match. All in all, mental emotional involvement for the whole state full of fans. And in 1975, it... Back home, the Mountaineers were met by a sellout crowd for the annual homecoming game. Yes, West Virginia did lose three games in 1975, one by two points and one by only an inch or two. The real story of the Mountaineer experience this year was winning team football. This year, me, we just try to stick. Thousand six hundred forty eight yards, almost a mile and a half. And the bands were on hand to help celebrate. Thousands of high school bandsmen joined the Mountaineers for the annual extravaganza. Passing musicians, this year's West Virginia pit game will be best remembered. It showed what the Mountaineer experience is all about. From Mountaineer Field in Morgantown, this is Jack Fleming along with Woody O'Hara. West Virginia University football, 1975. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A jam-packed house for the West Virginia pit game on the campus of West Virginia University. Now well, we're going to have excitement. This ball game was sold out September 19, and everyone is here today for what could be a very, very exciting football contest. And here come the West Virginia Mountaineers. The stage was set. ABC announcers Keith Jackson, Bud Wilkinson, Bill Fleming, and Jim Lampley were ready to telecast the game to millions of viewers. A whole state full of West Virginians were ready, too. Well, hundreds of balloons, gold and blue, of course, have been released high over the stadium and are drifting off to the northwest. And this crowd is really in a fever pitch for this afternoon's ball game. Many say it'll boil down to the kicking game. A late mistake, a late field goal could win it. Here is Williams giving it to Artie Owens, the hole in the middle, Owens breaks it back, and Owens goes for a West Virginia touchdown. How about that? Artie Owens found the hole through the middle, ran through the secondary, got away from everybody, galloped 23 yards for a touchdown, and the Mountaineers go on the board with another big one. King Arthur has scored one for the Mountaineers. Later, pit pass. On the scoreboard clock in a 14-14 ball game. Kavanaugh fakes, fires, complete to the 25-yard line to the tight end, Jim Corbett. And he goes down and is covered at the 25-yard line. And Larry Swider stands in his end zone, 18 seconds to go in a tie ball game. He'll have to punt it. Mark Burke is downfield. There's the snap to Swider. He gets it away, wobbly. Burke at the pit 47 is caught and thrown. And West Virginia takes time with 10 seconds. Boy, this game has been something else. Absolutely something else. Here is Kendra making the draw to Owens and now throwing the bomb. There's an open man, Swinson on the far side. He's got it out of bounds on the far side of the field at the pit 23 yard line. Four seconds to go. Randy Swinson caught the football, went out of bounds on the play, lost control of it out of bounds. It is a completed pass to the pit, 22 and a half yard line. Four seconds on a stop clock. Holy mackerel, can you believe this? Bill McKenzie is on. He is two for five in field goal. From the 28, it will be a 38 yard attempt. The snap. McKenzie kicks it. It is long enough. McKenzie kicks it. It is good. The ball game is over. McKenzie kicks a 38-yard field goal in the final play of the football game. 
There's a mob scene out on the field. The Mountaineers, the Mountaineer fans, what a mob scene. You haven't seen anything like it. Bill McKenzie kicks a 38-yard field goal on the final play of the football game. West Virginia moving the ball down to the pit, 22 and a half yard line on a pass to Randy Swinson. And then the field goal drive by McKenzie. I can't believe it. McKenzie, the sophomore from Warwood, with the biggest kick of his young career. So the Mountaineers had beaten Sun Bowl champion Pitt. But it was more than a simple victory. It showed again the enthusiasm of a state for its number one football team. West Virginia football. Call it exciting. Call it thrilling. Call it special and unique and one of a kind. Call it the Mountaineer experience.